Hi, Paul Slackerskin is broadcast, speaking to Jennifer Bushman. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? Okay, kitchen coach, excellent. Now, we're going to talk about budget-friendly recipes. Uh, good timing for that, and so... What are, what are some good thoughts here? Well, I actually think that home cooks are looking for ways to find meals that are easy to prepare, that are convenient, and that are budget-minded. And they're really looking to brands that are quality brands that they can trust, brands that are high quality and at affordable prices. Now, this is very timely. You know, now more than ever, we're looking for these because we know that people are actually coming home and coming back to the table. There was a recent survey and nearly three quarters of adults said that they're eating at home more and eating out less, which is fantastic news. But part of the problem with this is it creates a challenge. As home cooking is on the rise, we know that the ideas, fresh ideas for dinner, are hard to come by. And so what we're looking for, again, are things that are easy and affordable and convenient. And one of the best places to start, honestly, is in your kitchen, actually just stocking the kitchen. And when I talk about this in my books, I talk about stocking the pantry. And the pantry really is the refrigerator, it's the freezer, and it's your cabinets. So we want to build these ingredients so that we can start out with great ingredients and end up with delicious, affordable meals. And all of those things are built into the pantry. So for example, imagine that you're grilling or you're roasting meats. You know, we all end up where we can put a couple extra chicken breasts on the grill. Maybe you chop those, those cooked breasts up and then you put them into the freezer. And you can make a very simple, delicious meal in less than three steps. Now take a look at this. What you do is take your leftover meat or chicken, put it with nor rice and pasta sides, and you'll end up with something that's easy, delicious, and affordable, but is really straight from the pantry. This is a little chicken broccoli alfredo. Now, doesn't that look fantastic? Yeah. So it's something that you can put together, but again, is very pantry driven. Now, other things and other ideas that you can do. We often don't think of very intimate, simple meals that are romantic as being easy and made at home. But that's not the case. You can actually make something really delicious with this creamy Alfredo sauce from Bertoli. What we've got here is a delicious recipe that is for a no-fry white chicken parmesan. And you can actually find this recipe at makinglifebetter.com, as with the chicken alfredo. What's fantastic about this is that this sauce can be used for a number of different things to give you a restaurant-quality meal. And so that's great because if you know, for example, that these sauces are there waiting for you in the pantry, all you have to do is come and pull that chicken out of the freezer, you're starting to get the makings of a really fantastic dinner without a lot of effort, which is wonderful. Now, if you really don't have any time, let's say you're driving home, you don't know what's for dinner, that freezer really becomes the anchor for your cooking. And there's actually a product that's in your grocer's freezer that is finished, that's waiting for you, that's restaurant quality. So take a look at this, Paul. This is oven-baked meals from Bertoli. And it's very simple. You can do it, you get it in different flavors, from stuffed shells to scampi to this little meat lasagna rustica. And what's nice about it is you literally take it from this package into the pan and bake it and it's ready to serve. All restaurant quality and delicious. Now, one of the other... Yeah, molto buono. Now, some other places that you can also save that's delicious are on your drinks. You can actually drink something that's refreshing and also affordable. Take a look at this Lipton iced tea. This you can make for 25 cents a pitcher. So what I recommend is have a pitcher of iced tea in the refrigerator, and you can use it as a building block for other recipes or what I kind of call mocktails. And these mocktails can be things like this, which is a little iced tea, iced tea sangria sparkler. Really wonderful. Again, the recipe's on makinglifebetter.com. But it gives you this great thing. What most people don't know is iced tea isn't just refreshing. It also is high in antioxidants. So you really get something that's good and good for you. Well, now so you're filling yourself with a, you know, you could drink a, a, a lot of that. Right. And, uh, and that can meet your requirements of uh, water intake. Most definitely. I think you're exactly right. And it's something that, you know, we do spend a lot of money on drinks, so it's a place where we can um, save some money. And speaking of that, look at your April 5th 
Sunday newspaper coming up. There's going to be this fantastic spring promotion where you can save up to $20 on your turkey or your baked ham for the holidays. You can go to makinglifebetter.com to get all of the details, but that's also something to look for. We're all kind of watching our budget. We want to eat well, and of course, you want to have great, affordable recipes to do so. And it's a cool website. I am looking at making life better, feel good. We love the word good, look we do. good, and get yeah. more out of life. Well, you know, you eat with your eyes, and so look at all of these gorgeous colors and all of these great flavors. I mean, what, what family member wouldn't want to come home and have something like this waiting for them for dinner? This is a pretty cool, interesting. I've seen creamy asparagus tart. Fantastic. As well. mm -hmm. and, uh, and then you have all these coupons here, right? Get, get a free ham or turkey. Also, do you have what? Do you have a, a sweepstakes or something? Yep. Here well, in April 5th. Right? Exactly. Right. All on April 5th. So you can look to the newspaper and it'll give you all of the details or on the website. Okay, congratulations. A lot of good news here. What's good news for you, Jennifer? Oh, my goodness. Well, I actually am really excited. I think that it's an amazing time for those of us that have wanted people to come back to the family table. Um, it's certainly something I've talked about for a long time in my books. And, and I just, I'm, I'm glad to see that people are starting to come around the table with their families enjoying good food. It's okay. what life's all about. Sounds great. All right, thank you very much for sharing good news. Thank you so much for having me. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.